for the senior high school. Good day everyone! Welcome to Sir Fox Learning Channel! For today's video, I would like to show you my teaching demonstrations for the Division 2C2I1R Pedagogical Approaches Webinar providing the master teachers for their technical assistance support. So, Hopefully, makatulong po ito sa inyo. Ililay doon ko po dito yung mga parts of the lesson wherein makikit, matatagpuan nyo po yung 2C, 2I, and 1R. Tara, panoorin nyo po ang video ng ito. Have a learning. Okay, good afternoon. Everyone, welcome to my class, General Physics 1. Hopefully, everyone is here on the screen. I see, or we have seen here on the screen around 30 learners. And as we go along with our discussion for today's lesson, I do believe that it is very important to seek God first. Because uh, he is the one who is in control of everything. Uh, for our MOL, let us have first our video presentations for our prayer. And secondly, for the guidelines of uh, our virtual discussion. This afternoon, our learning task for our subject, General Physics number one, let us have first this learning task number one. I will show pictures for you to analyze and you can chat down on the chat box your answers or uh, before we start, pala, if you could have measuring tool like rulers, or any measuring tool for length and at the same time if you could have shown me board that it, because we will use that during our discussion as we go along with this lesson okay so show me board and measuring tool or even calculators if you can since we will use that as we go along with our discussion so are we are you ready for our first learning task for us to determine what will be our lesson for the day? Are you ready? Ready, sir. Thank you, Ma'am Lily. And the first picture is what does the picture imply? Anybody, you can write down your answers on the chat box or you can raise your hand what does this picture imply big bang sabi po ni ramditas somebody's raising hand sino pinagra-raise ng hand What else? Any answer? What does the picture imply? Only one answer? Big Bang? Ma'am, ma Miss... Ako po yung nag-raise ng hand. Yes, ma'am. Miss ma Mariano, please. Sir, sa nakikita ko lang po para siyang atom na nagre-release ng certain energy. 
pero hindi ko ako sure. Atom na nagre-release ng energy. Thank you ma'am for that answer. Very, very well. What else? Some more answers. Big Bang, atom na nagre-release. So, there is an interaction. Di ba? There is an interaction. We could see interaction on, or we can see interaction on the picture, which means that's physics deals with it. The interaction between matter and energy. So, in that interaction, of course, there is something we need to determine through that interaction. Ano kaya yung kailangan po natin i-determine through that interaction for us to know how intense the interaction is. Let's proceed to the second picture to analyze. What does the picture imply in this picture shown on the screen? Anybody? Mom Lily, raising hand. A man trying to measure a plywood. Okay, a man trying to measure a plywood. Very well. Thank you, ma'am, for that answer. What some some answers? Measuring a plywood. So, measurement. So, kung idudugtong po natin yung measurement kanina, for that intense, uh, for that interaction, we need to measure how intense the interaction happens. So, ibig sabihin, we can use measurement in some aspects, like determining how intense an interaction happens between matter and energy, or for doing several things, like, for instance, in the picture, measuring a fly board or a board. Next picture. What is this all about? What does a picture? Measuring tools. Sabi po sa chat box si Ma'am Lili. Thank you for that answer. Measuring tools. Different measuring tools. What about this? What about that? What does the picture imply? Measuring the body temperature, getting temperature, yes, measuring the temperature. Especially especially right now in the pandemic times, we need to know the body temperature temperatures of every persons we encountered or that get in to our home, our offices for us to know if that person is infected with the virus or not. So, measuring temperature. What about this? What about that picture? Ayan, conversion table, standard unit of measurements, conver conversion table of SI measurements. Yes, very well said. What about this? Number one, 859 billion. What about the picture? What does it imply? Length measurement. Very small and very large number. Sabi po sa chat box. Very good answers. So, very small and very large number numbers. How to deal with these numbers? Usually, what's, what does it mean? That expression. Ayan, SN. Scientific notation. So, therefore, with the pictures shown for you to analyze, what do you think our lesson for the day? Anybody? What do you think our lesson or discussion for this conversion of units? Very well said. Thank you, Thank you for that answer. 
Our lesson for the day is units, physical quantities, measurement, errors and uncertainties, graphical presentation and linear fitting of data. Though this is the whole uh, lesson for the week, but we will just discuss units, physical quantities, and measurements. Okay? This is under the first melt. So, or our first melt here is to solve measurement problems involving conversion of units, expression of measurements in scientific nota notation. Therefore, our learning objectives for, for today is to convert units of measurements and express measurements in scientific notation. I do believe most of you during your junior high school have already idea with these lessons hopefully so as we go along with our discussion let us have first this a show me board activity so you will just ask your answer by uh, the following questions and you will show your board or kung walang board Pwede na sigurong i-consider natin yung sa chat box upon the go signal or upon my go signal. Okay? Are you ready now? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. The first question, it refers to the standard unit measure of length. Mom Geraldine, meters or little meter, very good. All of the answers are, let's see, correct, meter. Yeah, thank you for that very, uh, for your answers. Next, it refers to an internationally accepted system of physical units, SI, Mom Mariano, SI, SI. Thank you for that answers. Let's check. And that is SI metric system. Our next question. Which of the following refers to a measure of mass? 2 pounds, 2 cubic meters, or 2 candles? 2 pounds, Sir Lito, Mam Cora, 2 pounds, Mam Ruby, 2 pounds, Mam Agnes, 2 pounds. And let's check. 2 pounds. Congratulations for the correct answers. Next question The progression of events from the past to the present in the future. Any answer? You answer. Time. Sir Lito, time. Dito lang yung may sabot. Let's check if Sir Lito's answer is correct. I progression of events from the past to the present in the future. Lahat naman tayo may past. Pero may future din. The next question is the standard unit measure of mass. Kilograms, kilograms. Let's check if your answers are correct. Kilogram. Congratulations for the correct answers. Thank you for, for the participation. The standard unit measure of time. Ayan. Seconds. The scientific comparison of an initially unknown quantity with a known standard unit. Measurement, measurement, si Ma'am Magdaong, si Sir Lito rin. Measurement, si Ma'am Ruby. Let's check your answer. Correct. Your answers are correct. Congratulations and thank you for the participation. 
our learning task for first a uh, learning task number three is and our activity number one sukat ko i-convert mo okay based nga dun po sa based on your on our review sa show me board somehow most of you answers very well so this time let us have this sukat ko convert mo so i will measure my show me board here and you will convert the measurement that I had. So I will use this purpose rule to measure my show me board. Nakikita niyo po ba yung show me board ko? Okay. So yung the length of this show me board is thirty. 37 37 centimeters 37 centimeters How many meters are there in 37 centimeters? Remember, during your junior high school you have already discussed the conversion of unit of measurements the standard values in the conversion table, for every one meter, how many centimeters? You have 100 centimeters. Now, if you have 37 centimeters, how many meters is that? Point thirty-seven meter. Point thirty-seven meters. Okay? What about the width? So, this show me board is 0.37 meters. Uh, very good for that correct answer. Let us measure the width of this show me board. So I have 10 centimeters. If we will convert 10 centimeters to meters, how many meters are there in 10 centimeters? 0.1 meter, 0.1 meter, yes. Kasi 1. Later, I will show you how to convert units of measurement. Thank you for that correct answers. Thank you for the participations. Let's have uh, a video lesson from Sir Fox Learning Channel. It's Sir Fox hey, provides Supplementary materials for Science 11 in this learning channel. Mas mapanood nyo po yung video lesson na ginamit ko po dito sa aking demonstration. Ilalagay ko na lang po yung link sa description box para po mapuntahan nyo po. Okay. So let's a few moments later. Well the we Okay Miss Mariano Ang question po natin kanina How many seconds are there in uh, how many hours are there in 400 seconds? You can use the chat box or your show me board. Sir, I'm not quite sure with my answer. Ha? 0 0.11 hour. 0 0.11? I'm not quite sure. Po. Do you agree with Miss Lima Mariano? 400 seconds is 0.11 hours. So possibly that the learners will show their solutions on how did how did they get the 0.11 hours. Ready po ba?
on your show me board how did you get 0.11 hours Thank you for that answer. Very well. Very good, ma'am. Thank you for that correct answer. Three point eleven seconds. Zero point eleven. Or in scientific notation, one point one. In scientific 1.1 times 10 raised to the negative 9? Tama po ba? Kami lisan, hindi lang sir ha? 1.1 So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 So, 1.1 times 10 raised to I'm not quite sure kung negative 9 sir kasi papuntang left po ba? Or Okay, 1.1 times 10 to the power of Since you move the decimal place from left to right Your decimal point is negative Okay, thank you ma'am Next Thank you po Miss Flores and your problem is 180 pounds. How many kilograms? 100, 180 pounds. How many kilograms? 180 pounds. How many kilograms? Yes, po. 180 pounds to kilograms. Yes, sir. Ito na kita, eh. 81.81. Okay, correct. Kilograms. Thank you for that answer. How about expressing it in scientific notation? Very good. 8.1. 8.1. 8, 8, 2 times 10 to the power of 1 kilograms. Okay. Thank you for the active participations and very well answers. And next, any questions? Learning task number 5. This is our activity number 2, a performance task. You can, uh, I would like to, I would like you to measure the height of your table in inches and length of your table in meters and the width in centimeters by using different uh, length measurement, of course. So here is the table on the screen and since it will take time for you to do this performance task, I would like you to do it off-cam. Okay? 
So just uh, visit your Google Classroom and I will post this learning task number five. Okay? And then let's summarize of what have you learned for this meeting. So before that, let us have first another off cam or offline rather offline learning task uh, for you to express yourselves to what skills do you have I would like you to have a short vlog at least 2 minutes to 2.30 minutes by either depending on what skills do you have it's either you can do do it by singing, spoken poetry, reporting, or anything you want to express of what you have learned by making a short video presentation, at least 2 minutes to 2.30 minutes. So why 2 minutes to 2.30 minutes? Because you can send it through either messenger or you can also send it on our Google Classroom. There is our simple rubrics for this activity uh, creativity at 10% organization 10% quality of the video 10% and you can also collaborate with your family members 10% if you have collaboration with your family members you have 10% for that and offline task again since we we are starting our school year 2021-2022, I do believe this is very significant for you to do a daily planner. Okay? Having this daily planner, probably you are also measuring your time. Diba? You, you are measuring your time. Planning a time is a measuring of time. And how will you budget the time for you to sleep? For physical fitness, which is very important for this time of pandemic, para maging malakas yung ating immune system. Playing gadgets, which is most of the time, na meaning mo man at hindi, dyan tayo na bibisi madalas. And your studies, time to study, and helping our parents uh, course. And sometimes, even you are not allowed, you still hang out with your friends. How much time you spend for that? And watching movies. So with this, some of the activities presented on the screen, uh, you will make your daily planner for you to manage time properly in preparation for this school year for you to achieve whatever goals you have at the end of the school year okay so you will do this again uh, offline and set it on our google classroom for our assessment we have also uh, an offline assessment at 15 items multiple choice. before we end up i would like you to reflect what we have learned for this lesson by the following sentences I understand that I realize that and I need to learn more about oh, I need to learn more about technicalities I understand that who will continue the statement anyone Yes, Mom, Lily. I understand that for a number to become a measurement, it must contain units. Okay. For the units of measure, to identify whether what physical property of measurement is involved. Very well said, Mom. Without the unit measure, we cannot identify what quantity or physical quantity is that. Next, I realize that we will continue the statement. Yes, ma'am. I realized 
Yes, measurement is important in our everyday life. For now, our IATF is measuring the numbers of uh, infect persons, individuals, for us to know how intense the virus is. At the same time, we are measuring from time to time our temperature to for us to know as well. Kung tayo nga ba is infected na or hindi pa. Thank you, ma'am. Very well said. Next, last, I need to learn more about. We'll continue the statement. Yes, ma'am. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Sir, I need to learn more about on how to convert a standard measurement into a scientific notation. Yeah, and very well said. We need to learn more about that, especially dealing with very large and very small numbers. Thank you for that awesome reflections. Yan yung mga sagot po kanina. And to end up, ito naman yung reflection ko. By the measures you use, it will be measured back to you. So whatever measures we do, especially this time of pandemic, the safety measures we do, it will be measured back to us. This is taken from Matthew 7 verse 2. That's it. Thank you everyone who participated. Asensya na rin po sa technical problems. And God bless us all. Ilamang po marami kong salamat. Thank you Sir Fox. Thanks po. Salamat po. Asensya na sa mga technical issues. Thank you so much sir. And congratulations po. Congratulations to our third demonstration teacher.